a yo what's poppin you know the biggest reason for exploring psychoactive substances is to experience something new something out of this world an experience that is simply not possible to have without their aid now this applies to many drugs but today's subject encapsulates this especially well from horses to humans, this chemical is widely used as an anesthetic in medical procedures and has more recently been referenced by not only depressed teenagers, but also goats. As you are able to see in the video title, unless you had too much, I am of course talking about ketamine. Ketamine, also known as Special K or just Ket, is a member of the dissociative class of drugs. We've talked about this before in my epic DXM video, but if you're unaware, it's a type of drug that is one of the harder ones to describe. Generally, they kind of warp your sense of reality and make you feel offbeat and detached from your day to day. To put it into perspective, imagine that first hit of weed after a really long time of not smoking weed where you realize you're high and you sort of just go, whoa, that feeling, kind of. You become more of an observer of what you're doing, and while you can often still control yourself, you definitely feel a bit strange. It comes in two forms, liquid vials and more commonly as white powder, similar looking to cocaine but usually more crystallized. It can be injected through your muscles or veins, which is the main way it is administered in a medical setting, but in recreational use, it's more likely you'll see someone doing lines or bumps through their nose. Ketamine has two very distinct levels. One is like Ohio, and one is like the Sigma Grindset level 100 I Spice Gap. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not sure who that was. Let's continue. Ah yes, here it says there are two levels of effects to ketamine. The basic effects and the K-hole. I will first tell you about the basic effects. When you first start building a ski slope in your nose, the effects are noticed almost immediately. Things become a bit blurry, your body starts feeling lighter, more relaxed, and you may feel an initial rush of energy. Depending on the setting, your current mood, and the batch of ketamine you have, this usually either swells into a more active feeling where you want to move around or dance, or a more sedative feeling where you just want to sit down and ponder things. This can also shift throughout the experience. Physically, it also numbs pain and feeling overall. Cognitively, it affects your ability to think logically, and like alcohol, it can also massively inflate your self-perception, also known as your ego. This can be an unfortunate combination if you decide to text your ex at the time. Whoa, what is this guy on about? Texting your ex under the influence? That's something I'd never do. Hey, hasn't this happened before? What's it say here? Ketamine can also produce feelings of deja vu. Huh. It also says music can sound better, but ket can also have the opposite effect of making it sound unfamiliar and offbeat. There's also a note in small text here. Uh, in fully anesthetic doses, ket binds to sigma receptors in rats. Well, since I tore up the rest of the notes for the basic effects, I guess I'll move on to what some of you may be more interested in. What is the K-hole? No, Kendrick did not get shot by or sleep with Drake. A K-hole is what happens when you take enough ketamine to become completely immobilized. This is usually intentionally done, as within this state some very interesting things start to happen. Lying or sitting down, the user will close their eyes and enter a state I would most liken to a dream. They may start traveling through a tunnel or floating through clouds, forests or other scenery. Putting on an album or playlist beforehand is a great idea. I highly recommend these, by the way. This can be enhanced further by smoking weed, but that's not necessary for the so-called dreams to happen. Your consciousness is not really there in the same way it would be if you are tripping on a psychedelic like DMT, and it's more of a in-the-moment feeling where you're almost existing as just a ball of energy or a beam of light. This does depend on your batch and dose, but your brain definitely does not work the way it usually does. Um, my fictional character has experienced it as if my brain was playing on 300 ping and just carried me through the scenarios. Music does affect what is shown to you and the traveling through this mind tunnel is often synced to the beat. While this experience can sound scary, and while it has the possibility of being unpleasant, especially if your dose is too high, due to the anxiety reducing effects of ketamine, most users report feelings of bliss and relaxation in a k-hole. Fear is very rare. It also does not last very long 
as it only has an effective duration of about 30 minutes. Ketamine was patented in 1963 Belgium and was at first only used in veterinary practice, often for cats, dogs and of course, horses. Don't let this fool you though, ketamine is not strictly horse tranquilizer. As early as 1970, it was approved for use in humans by the FDA and was even administered to soldiers in the Vietnam War as a field anesthetic due to its strong ability to numb pain. It is currently sitting on the World Health Organization's list of safest and most effective drugs needed in a modern health system, next to other homies such as antivenom, ibuprofen, epinephrine, morphine, etc. Note that this does not mean it is perfectly safe to consume recreationally, just that it has a long history of safe and effective use in human medical practice. More recently, studies have shown promising results for the treatment of chronic depression, with ketamine suppressing depressive episodes and self-deletion ideation in patients for up to three days after a single dose. It is prescribed and sold under the brand names Spravato and Ketanest. And just guess what the chemical name in these is listed as? Esketamine. Of course. I don't know how much Lil Pump paid for this. Maybe that's where all his money went. Maybe that's why he fell off. I don't know. Well, actually, I do know. It's because of it's a type of ketamine called S-isomer ketamine. There is also R-ketamine, which is another compound found in the encompassing term of ketamine that is slightly different, but it's not that interesting. I'm not a nerd. Who cares? As previously discussed, ketamine is in fact not only for horses and is overall a safe substance for human consumption. With that being said, there are still risks at play when using it recreationally. By itself, it's unlikely to cause an overdose, however, it does not mix well with alcohol, opioids or stimulants, and combining these even a little bit can lead to severe nausea, vomiting and make it hard to breathe properly. Approximately 70% of reported ketamine overdoses included alcohol, and my fictional self can also assure you that combining these two will lead to the opposite of a good time. While ketamine is not a psychedelic, it could be argued to have somewhat similar properties, and its strong ability to cause ego inflation and other delusions may want you to stay away from it if you or any family members have a history of mental illness. On the addictiveness scale, I would place it slightly above alcohol, but below cocaine. Long-term use has also been proven to cause damage to both your kidneys and your bladder. Ketamine is a unique experience with two distinct effects. The K-hole is mysterious, interesting, and a great way to deeply experience some of your favorite music. That being said, I don't think there is much introspective knowledge to be gained from it, and it should not be used solely as an escape from your normal life, as with any drug really. While it can be a fun, out of this world experience, remember the important things. Family, friends, stacking paper, and getting absolutely massive in the gym. Focus on improving yourself and helping the people you love. Oh, as well as liking, subscribing and leaving a comment, of course. My next video will be an epic surprise, so keep posted. Thanks guys, stay safe, peace.